Welcome to the channel. I have three interesting videos to share with you today. The first two are from our UAP Society contest. We had 33 entries, and so we'll show the two winners. And then the third video is actually from Langley. So my last video was on drone swarms over Langley Air Force Base in December, and we actually have a video from Reddit. So I'll show those videos. Thanks for being here. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. Okay, this is the runner up video. So, second place, you can see stars in the background there. This is from Human Data. Thanks for your entry, Human Data. It said while recording, it seemed to be trying to shift. No sound recorded while in a Long Beach, California soccer park event. I'm the only one out of more than 100 people at the park event that witnessed the UAP. People looked at me strange, pointing my cellular at the sky, but no one saw anything. Towards the end, it just changed its frequency into the air. So this one was interesting and won second place out of 33 entries. You can see there it's from a cell phone camera, hard to actually get a good focus on it. Otherwise, no other data. So human data winning second place, you get uh, $50 in Ethereum. Email to chris.lado16 at gmail.com. Here it is again in wide field. So moving. My only question is, could it be the could it be the ISS? It seems to be moving in a smooth fashion. Okay, that was the, the first video. Thanks for your entry. Okay, and here's actually the winning video. So thanks to Killers from the West for this entry. He says, I was in Tijuana looking north into the San Diego area when we saw these really luminous lights flying in formation and moving in mysterious ways. This is from July 2022. Remember those UAPs off the coast. They were there for an hour. It's hard to tell in the video, but they were extremely bright, around 10 times brighter than an airliner coming directly at you. Coast Guard ended up saying that these were sea flares. Yeah. They were doing some sort of exercise. I've seen other videos like this uh, on, over the ocean. It's a daytime video back from San Diego. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And thanks to Killers from the West, so you won, send your Ethereum address to chris.lato16 at gmail.com. All right, and then let's get to the final video. This is just from Langley. Okay, now this video is from December 14th, 2023, Langley Air Force Base event video. This is off of Reddit. It says, after sunset, I was on the opposite side of James River from Langley sitting outside to watch that night's meteor shower. At around 7.15, I began to see red blinking lights from the direction of Virginia Beach coming in high and circling north of Langley Air Force Base, heading west, and then passing directly over the base, heading east, back in the direction they came. It began as one or two coming every few minutes, and at its peak, I would say there would be upwards of five over the base that would sometimes stop and hover directly over the base, always blinking from white to reddish-orange. The blinking was not uniform, and these were not planes. The lights were not on the end of wings or rotors. They were round orbs of light. They kept a very steady speed unless they hovered over the base, and their blinking would change and vary, almost like Morse code. Sporadically, a spotlight would come up from Langley and wave back and forth, but never seemed to focus in on any of the drones. They did not act aggressively as all just coming in, circling, and floating over the base before heading out. There were also larger UAPs, that would come in one at a time much lower than the orbs. It may have been the same one circling, almost tree level. And this looks like the Omaha, doesn't it? If you remember back to the Omaha swarms. Also interesting is there's the Surrey nuclear power plant is nearby. Photographer continued, it moved along the northern edge of James, right past Fort Eustis, went over a Surrey nuclear power plant and then elevated and left in the same direction they all came from. 
He's appeared reddish orange at the bottom, but had three white lights in the top and a flashing light on the leading edge. They made no sound, just like the orbs, and were close enough that I would have heard it if they were helicopters. I felt like these were kind of the command control of the event. I would say everything peaked around 8.15, and by 9, I could not see any more and went in. I would also mention that despite that being a high-traffic area for military and commercial planes, I did not notice any during the event. So right there, it looks like, yeah, blinking lights on a drone of some type. Flying over Langley Air Force Base. If anything, these are the, the drone swarms. That's it for this short video. Thanks to everyone who put in a video and congratulations to the winners. For the winners, send your ETH address to christotlato16 at gmail.com. How can we get better videos than nighttime iPhone videos is through Sky360. And they just had a assembly meeting, General Assembly 2023, and they are making serious progress. This is from their assembly meeting. So they've updated uh, the hardware. Looks like they have their hardware almost set software now they went to a, a robot operating system real-time messaging and they have their version aloha it's an alpha version so it looks like sky 360 is moving along they are making progress although it's slow but now they do have some momentum going i think we could see some actual developmental systems out there in uap society members hands this year so please go to uap society discord get involved if you want to be a part of these projects thank you for watching Please like and subscribe. Please like the video. If you did like this video, you like this content and subscribe to get future notifications. Go to UAP Society Discord to join the team. And if you want to get involved in the actual hardware software of creating a Sky360 system, go to Sky360 Discord. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Peace.